The James Webb Space Telescope captured an astonishing image of the center of the spiral galaxy, NGC 628, which might disclose significant information about how dust interacts in galaxies. The image is a combination of three sets of data from JWST's mid-infrared instrument team at various wavelengths. Gabriel Brammer, a researcher at the University of Copenhagen in Denmark, who was not involved with the study, downloaded the data and converted each of the infrared wavelengths to red, green, and blue before merging them to create this amazing image. Other observatories, including Hubble, have observed NGC 628, invisible light, and it appears similar to our own Milky Way when viewed from above the galactic plane. However, JWST's capacity to analyze infrared light in great detail shows a hit or two unknown structure. If our eyes could see in these mid-infrared wavelengths, the night sky would look a lot more like this picture, which I think would be spectacular. Maybe a little terrifying, says Brammer. According to Michael Merrifield of the University of Nottingham in the United Kingdom, the particular purple hue of Brammer's picture is owing to the unique chemical makeup of NGC 628's dust clouds, which are mostly composed of big molecules, known as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Because these molecules only emit certain wavelengths of light, there was very little green when Brammer mapped the three wavelengths to red, green, and blue. When the residual red and blue emissions were mixed, they produced a pinky-purple color. The wavelengths were just collected by JWST on Sunday, so scientists haven't had a chance to look over the results yet. However, several scientists have already commented on Bremer's social media posts about the image, suggesting that the empty center is distinct from what visual representations of the galaxy reveal, and might imply fascinating physical processes. However, one issue with the data is that it's too closely focused and high resolution to make inferences about the origin of the evolution of whole galaxies. According to Brammer, the actual creation of the image was staggeringly straightforward, and this is a less well-publicized benefit of JWST over Hubble. Despite the James Webb Telescope being a fantastic resource, he continues, as a great resource as the James Webb Telescope is, we've also made similar improvements in the technology for processing the data and distributing the data such that anybody, from astronomers to non-experts, can explore the data like this. Let us know in the comments what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check our previous videos, and if you love reading, visit our website at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.